when the first industrial revolution happened, right? So when we got machines and they started to replace how we did, how we made things, how we did jobs, all of a sudden companies were making a lot more money because they had all these machines. So the companies were making a lot more money, but they weren't giving any extra money to the workers. So the workers teamed up and took collective action to challenge that, to be like, hey, you're making an extra million pounds a day. Can you share some of that with us? Um, and that's kind of where the birthplace of this collective action and what we call the union movement kind of came from. And then throughout like the last century, there was a really strong union movement. So our rights at work got better and better. So we got minimum wage and we got all sorts of things. And then all of a sudden for the last maybe 20, 30 years, that's been in decline to the point that it's as low as 6%. So like only 6% of people under 40 are in a union. Um, and the whole point, the only reason a union works is because there's lots of people in it. So the, lo the more it demises, the less power it has, and it's, gonna, it's basically collapsing, um, which I think is what gives organizers a lot of space where there are only really people entering this market. Um, and people are desperate for something, a way of teaming up and actually getting back some of those rights and getting back some of that pay. Um, and people talk about the fact we're actually going through another industrial revolution right now with the way technology is changing and that's changing how jobs happen. And so we need to make sure that we have a collective response to make sure that we are keeping some of those wages. This is a way for people who aren't in that 1% who are earning ridiculous amounts of money um, to, to get their fair share and to make sure that they're protected.